You often hear that there aren't many good developers. You hear that from people who don't work in the software industry and you even hear that from programmers. I've been working in the industry for almost 12 years now and I'm guilty of making this statement a number of times as well. Let's dive into it and try to figure out why this is the case. Scarcity There aren't as many programmers in the world in general. And the ones who are there get good offers. That is another reason good programmers don't freelance. Because they don't need to. I would like to point out that this is not meant to be an attack on WordPress developers or anyone else who freelances. Things work out in some contexts, especially in smaller projects. I'm talking here in a general sense. So unless you're in technology yourself and understand how to hire someone, you'll get someone who's experimenting with freelancing. These days a lot of schools all over the world are teaching kids on how to program from a young age. And I'm sure we'll have an amazing few decades ahead of us. Then there is an ocean of languages. There are more than 700 programming languages. And there's a new one coming out every other day. And there's a new fork or a branch of a language coming out every other day as well. When you have so many languages, programmers tend to jump from one language to another depending on project needs. If they are great at programming, they'll be good at the other one. If they are good at programming, they'll be average at the other one. So when you ask someone to go to some new land, know what their skill sets are. On top of that, there are frameworks and systems. For example, PHP is a programming language. It has frameworks such as Laravel, Symfony, Codeigniters, Cake, Yi, and Zend, etc. It has CMS, which is Content Management Systems, which may or may not use these frameworks. These systems include WordPress, Drupal, Joomla, Magento, and Moodle, etc. Many developers spend their careers on one or only a few of these. If you require the developer to work on something else, they might not do as well. Even with everyone going digital these days, there's a surprising lack of knowledge on how the systems work. Programmers aren't the only people in the software industry. For example, common complaint that you hear from clients is that the website is too slow or is crashing and the web developer wasn't good at his job. Now the web developer may or may not be good at their job in this scenario. But there's a significant difference between developing a website and everything that comes with it. These things are significantly more highlighted when people don't realize the difference between a website and a web application. A website is content that resides on the server and is presented to the user when they try to access it. A web application, on the other hand, is a client service that speaks to the servers and interacts with the system that resides on the server. Anything that's more than a couple of static pages or dynamic pages that can be converted to static pages is probably a web application. And the web applications usually are massive in size. They tend to convert the whole organization from paper to digital. If your website or web application is slow or is crashing, then some of the things to consider are CDN, caches, database, database structure, database queries, load balancing, server, hard disk, networks, and so on and so forth. A really good senior developer would know about them. A junior, mid-level, and in some cases, some senior developers will not know some or all of these things. And it's not their job to know these things. These things are significantly complex in their own rights. There's also a significant difference between the back-end programmer and the front-end programmer. A programmer which writes the server logic might not know how to develop aesthetics for the front end that works in every browser. The same things apply when you come to game development. 
For my game, I spent over a year trying to find a good Unity developer. I was well aware that I'm not a full-time game developer and even an average Unity developer would be useful and in my opinion would be faster in a lot of cases. I couldn't find someone I was happy with for exactly some of the reasons I mentioned. I wanted someone specific to 2D platformers in a framework that I was using. There might be people who are good at things and yes, my reach to those developers might not be as good either. In the end, I decided it's better that I dive in myself. Because finding someone who cares about the game as much as me might not be possible. And training them with game knowledge and expecting them to stay till the end of development is too much of a ask. Especially if they get a far better offer. I'm a senior programmer and I consider myself a quick learner. So with a bit of help, I was able to get myself up to speed with C Sharp. I'm comfortable to build the game myself, but we might have one less web developer soon. I hope it helps shed a light on the hidden world of programmers and I'll see you next time.